Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith. I am putting a standing seam roof on our house in Belleville. I'm gonna show you some details. This is a Galvalum standing seam metal roof and we are putting it on Carlisle Whip underlayment. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this underlayment, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'm gonna jump right into what everybody came for, the standing seam metal roof. So Whip 300 HT from Carlisle, great product, love it. This is the high temperature, so it works great down here in Texas when we're putting a roof right on top of it. It is a pill and stick, and it says on the instructions that you don't have to use a primer, so we didn't use a primer, then the wind came and it blew about a third of it off, and so we spent another thousand dollars putting it back on with primer. So if you're gonna use Carlisle HT 300, make sure you use a primer. You got to prime the stuff if you want it to stick. It just will not stick otherwise. So would I use it again? Probably not. The reason that I used it on this house is because we're using LP Tech Shield Radiant Barrier. It doesn't have an integrated WRB on it, which means that we have to take care of our air sealing as well as our waterproofing from the underlayment. So this, because it's fully applied, takes care of our air sealing too. Good stuff there. What would I do differently in the future? Well, I just wouldn't use this type of decking. I think Weather Logic is coming out with a roof rated panel that plus an insulation plus a radiant barrier all in the same board can't confirm that they're doing that but i've heard rumbling so if they do that that's going to be my my go-to system for the roof but at any rate even if you like green zip better than blue weather logic you come up the side with your wrb integrated into your sheathing and then up over the top so it's all integrated into your decking you tape all the seams you have a little monopoly house there that's completely air tight and then you add all your rafters and everything else on top of that so that's what i'd prefer to do instead of carlisle but carlisle if you can get it stuck down is incredible um, it's difficult to work with and it's very expensive so that's all i have to say about that let's talk about the standing seam metal roof what you all came here for this is galvalum 24 gauge standing seam and when i say standing seam I mean that these seams here, every 16 inches, are standing up. This is a very old roofing detail. Uh, lead roofs used to be done like this all the time. This gets up off the deck. So if you don't have a complete joint all the way down, you have less chance of it leaking because you don't have any standing water up there an inch off of the deck. This obviously isn't lead. This is Galvalum steel, 24 gauge. So this is a very heavy duty gauge. You can go lighter, you can go much lighter. Uh, make sure if you're wanting to prevent oil canning, you go with the heavier gauge. It's just a higher quality product. It is going to cost you more, but it's definitely the higher quality stuff, especially if you live in areas with hailstorms. You don't want this thing to be all dented up when a hailstorm comes through. So 24 gauge standing seam, Galvalum. If you want to know more about Galvalum, check out this card over here. Um, I talk a lot about galvanized versus galvalum. The other thing that 24 gauge gives you other than it's withstanding uh, hell is it also prevents oil canning or helps prevent oil canning because it's thicker and it's more rigid. Oil canning is when metal gets hot it expands and because we have fasteners down this whole thing when it expands it can't go anywhere so it starts waving and crinkling as that material is expanding but isn't able to move on the ends so as this crinkles from the ground and the lights shining on it from the ground you see these waves that's called oil canning there's a few different ways to prevent oil canning number one go with a thicker gauge material like 24 gauge steel it helps prevent the waviness of the weaker material. Number two, go with a different pattern than just straight standing seam. These are called striations right here. Can you see that? You see those little, uh, it goes from your seam up, 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 and over. These two little things here called striations, and they're like little bitty micro ribs, and they also add to its ability to withstand bending in this direction. The third thing that you can do that we are not doing on this build is you can put a 
foam rod down the center to slightly bow this this uh, this panel up and that further increases its rigidity in this axis I don't know for this climate with this roof we don't have a problem with oil canning once we go with the striations if you want super duper never going to happen then put that rod in there and that takes care of it too and that's one of the other benefits to these striations is because it gives it a slight uh, waviness to it it really hides a bunch of imperfections both on your decking and your sheathing as well as if you get any oil canning there um, you're not going to notice it as much with those striations let me show you quickly here some of the details so this panel here it's a hidden fastener system so we have this fastener here and it is on a receiving rib and this rib is covered by the rib to the left of it here which is the male mating rib that comes over and snaps on it snap locks right on this little rib click like that so it clicks down there and it holds it and it covers all of these fasteners so this has a concealed fastener system you don't see any of the fasteners out in the field and it looks really nice guys like kyle at rr buildings use a lot of um, visible fasteners and they do a great job of lining them up directly across from each other and you have really structured screw patterns which look great for this house we wanted to have them all concealed a couple reasons one aesthetics number two keeping your fasteners concealed helps with leaks down the road um, if i had this fastener just out in the field somewhere there is a chance that we can get a leak around this down into the roof deck i've never had it happen i've never had a problem with the fasteners causing me leaks but you know you could see how that might happen so this takes care of all of that concern the other feature here is at the end of the roof we are currently just using these little clippy tie downs holding this down we bend the edge of the roof up and then the trim we don't have it in yet but the trim will match this on the top and then it will come down off the side about three inches and so it's going to cover this and look just like a rib and then come down off of the edge here and it's going to make it all look the same like you have a rib that starts all the way out a lot of times they'll do bigger boxes and some other stuff like that that i don't know i don't like the aesthetics as much so having just another rib start on that side and then repeat across the 16 inches i think looks the best down here you see we have this flashing this flashing comes back up about uh, the flashing comes up about three inches and then our underlayment is glued to the top of that so any water that gets back behind this is able to run down and find its way back out of the roof assembly this flashing has a kick out here so it's going to kick it away from these rafters and then underneath back behind to give this structure and support we have pressure treated wood that's nailed to the end of our rafters so this pressure treated wood here um, you really give some structure to our flashing everything's nice and tight and because it's 24 gauge it's just super sturdy those rafters there will all be painted so it'll all blend into the siding back behind and then the galvalum will look just great what do you think about standing seam what do you think about gavelum do you prefer a color how would you do it different do you like as some people like do you like putting batten strips or furring strips or a board system up on top of your roof deck to give ventilation we're not doing that on this house because i think that these striations are going to give us enough ventilation through and we don't plan on having any leaks back in there because i don't have any penetrations through the rest of the house this whole roof is just one Piece. I don't have any bathroom vents popping up through. I'm doing all of that through my gable ends over here. So what do you think about that? Would you prefer this roof be up on something? Think oil canning though. Think other things. Um, comment below if you like 
my Russian dance from last week. And uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe if we've earned it. Go follow us at Instagram at Jordan Smith Builds at smithhouse.com and we'll see you next time on Smith House. <laughs>